Okay guys, uh, we continue to uh, conjunction, eh? conjunction uh, N. Eh? This one is uh, conjunction. Okay, uh, if you see here uh, for the uh, conjunction, uh, is the you are joining, eh? joining uh, two clauses. Eh? Uh, for example, uh, Rachel play the video. Uh, the piano and sings. Eh? Okay, we combining uh, two uh, two clauses, two phrases, two words. Okay, okay. Uh, another uh, way is you combining a new sentence and uh, relating it to the previous sentence. Eh? The telephone is uh, isn't working, and that is not uh, only the problem. Okay, this one is uh, uh, another example. Another example is my name is Chris and my name is Ivan. Okay, if you see here, this one is the truth uh, table. Truth table, okay. Uh, P, Q, P and Q. No? Okay, as you can see, uh, P, uh, true value is 1. Uh, Q, true is 1. And then uh, P, and Q is uh, equivalent to 1. Eh? <coughs> okay, and then uh, uh, P, uh, true, uh, 1, uh, Q, false is uh, 0. And then the result is equivalent to false. Eh? <coughs> okay, uh, because uh, the true, uh, the N is the, you need to uh, multiply, multiply. Okay, 0 uh, and 1 is uh, false, uh, 0 and 0 is uh, false. This one is a uh, uh, true stable uh, for binary operators. Eh? Binary operators. Okay, this one is binary operators. Uh, all Okay, we can see here we uh, can have a, a p true and true is equivalent to true one plus one equivalent to one the true one uh, and false uh, or false is a uh, true uh, because uh, one uh, plus uh, zero is uh, true and uh, false uh, uh, or true 0 plus 1 is true and uh, 0 plus uh, 0 is false. Okay, we can have the exclusive or is a uh, binary operators. Uh, you can see the symbols. Eh? Okay, uh, both uh, have the uh, same values. Okay, uh, true and true. And then uh, if uh, we can see here exclusive or. Okay, exclusive or. Uh, for logic, eh, for logic, uh, exclusive or inclusive or is the same. Eh? It uh, allows uh, both possibilities as well as either of them. Eh? So if either A or B is true or if both uh, are true, eh? then the statement value is true whereas the exclusive or only allows one possibility. So if uh, either A or B is true, then only then is uh, value of uh, true. Le. Okay, this one is a uh, very uh, simple schematic, eh? schematic symbol for X or gates. Eh? Okay, uh, uh, very uh, very straightforward. Okay, and then uh, we can have the by conditional if and only if. Eh? Is as you can see here eh, is uh, the symbol eh, is not the same as equivalent. Eh? It, it is a by conditional by conditional okay eh? as you can see here uh, for the by conditional connective uh, between statement where either both statement are true or both statement are false eh? okay this one uh, you can see uh, true and true is true uh, true uh, true uh, uh, false is false uh, false true is uh, false if you can see both same values true, false and false is equivalent to true. Ok, 
Okay, by conditional statement, if statement that con contain the phrase if and only if, eh? IFF, eh? IFF, and equivalent to writing conditional statement, and it uh, can be converse eh? if uh, if uh, an uh, angel sun is 90 degree, then the angels degree are complementing complementing each other. Okay, uh, please uh, to take note eh, the equivalent sign and then the biconditional signs eh, is it is a uh, very different eh? very different okay and then uh, as you can see here eh, we have the implication eh, implication uh, that have uh, the hypothesis and uh, conclusion eh? okay for the hypothesis uh, we can have the symbol arrow uh, arrow for the uh, pointing to the right eh? okay uh, we can have a p for the hypothesis a q for the conclusion eh? okay uh, p through a q through okay for the conclusion okay a p uh, implication implies q is true eh? okay and then okay uh, true uh, implies uh, false is false and then false implies true, uh, true, a false implies false are uh, uh, true. Eh? Okay, this one is for the implication, eh? implication. Okay, the proposition P implies Q denoted by P implies Q is called implication. Eh? Implication. Uh, it is false when P is true and Q is false and true otherwise. Eh? In P implies Q, P, P is called hypothesis and Q is called the conclusion. Eh? Q is called the conclusion. Okay, what is the uh, implication? Uh, give example. Implication is statement having uh, from if P then Q. Ne? Okay, uh, example, if uh, it is rain, then uh, I will stay at home. Eh? Okay, the hypothesis and conclusion. Eh? How you want to conclude uh, the hypothesis. Okay, uh, secondly, if you uh, get a degree, then you can get a job. Eh? This one for the second example. And the third one, if the car is gone, then Lisa ha has uh, left. Huh? Okay, uh, this one is uh, just the true stable. Okay, uh, this one you can uh, see. This one uh, is the quiz you can uh, answer. Okay. Okay, uh, first one, a conditional statement. Huh? is statement that can be expressed in if then form. Huh? Conditional statement. Eh? This one uh, you can see in my videos in part one. Eh? Part one. Okay, and then uh, conditional statement has two part. Uh, the first one is the hypothesis, is the if part, and then the conclusion is the then part. Okay, and then uh, the other example. If I am sick today, sick today, then I will not go to school. Eh? This one is to implication, eh? implication that statement uh, from P then Q. Eh? Okay, uh, because of the type of relationship between two statements or sentences, eh? if A and B represent the statement, then A, B mean A implies B. If A then B, the word implies is used uh, in the strongest uh, possible sense. Eh? Okay, uh, for example here, I am six today, six, uh, and then Q, I will go to school. Eh? And P, in, uh, the implication P is to uh, negation Q, eh? implication. Eh? I am six uh, today, uh, for I will go to school. When you negate the statement, it will go, uh, I will uh, not go to school. Eh? Okay, and then uh, this one uh, is conditional statement. Conditional statement. Okay. 
for the conditional statement is statement that can be written in the form of if P then Q eh? if P then Q where P and Q are the sentences eh? for this conditional statement P is called the hypothesis and Q is called the conclusion okay Okay, repeat, P is called the hypothesis and Q is called the conclusion. Intuitively, if P then Q means that Q must be true whenever P is true. Eh? Whenever P is true. Okay, for example here, we have elephant are in the red color. It's the hypothesis. Okay, hypothesis. Q, elephant can hide in the cherry uh, trees. Eh? It's the conclusion. Eh? If P then Q, okay, okay, we can see P only if Q eh, is the hypothesis and conclusion, eh? okay, uh, P is sufficient for Q, okay, you can see here, conclusion Q if P for the hypothesis, eh? for the hypothesis, okay, and necessary condition for P is Q, P implies Q, eh? Okay, a sufficient condition for the right hand side you can see a sufficient condition for q is p q whenever p q is necessary for p q follows from p okay uh, conditional statement uh, must consist two parts eh? a hypothesis in if clauses and a conclusion in then clauses eh? Okay, uh, they have a two part. For instance, if it is rain, then they cancel the schools. Huh? Uh, if rain is the hypothesis, then cancel school is the conclusion. Okay, for the conditional uh, statements. Okay, uh, this one is the another part of conditional statement uh, first one original if the elephant in the red color h okay, h is the hypothesis then they can hide the cherry tree eh? c conclusion okay okay this one is uh, you must know the the if then eh? if then statement okay Okay, conditional statement, um, uh, I repeat again, it must use the hypothesis if as a clauses and a conclusion. Eh? Conclusion you must see here is a C. Eh? Okay, uh, secondly, elephant can hide in a cherry uh, tree is a conclusion. Eh? If they are in the red colors, okay, this one is a hypothesis. Okay, thirdly, elephants are in the red color, hypothesis, only if they can hide in cherry trees. Eh? This one is the conclusion. Okay. Okay, uh, this one, if you can see, uh, P elephant are in red, uh, Q elephant can hide in a cherry tree. Eh? Okay, uh, you can have a hypothesis first and that follows by the conclusion. And then you can have the conclusion uh, first, follows by the hypothesis. Or you can have a hypothesis and a conclusion eh? if, uh, by using only if. Eh? Okay, uh, they have a, uh, here you can see they have uh, three conditions. Eh? Okay, original, if, and then if, uh, uh, after the original. And then the uh, third one is you, you are using uh, only if. Eh? Okay, this one is the, for the power of N, barrel balls. You can have a uh, one, Q1, R1, and P. And Q and R, okay, the number of variables, okay, and then you can see uh, P and Q uh, for this one is 4, 4 is equivalent to 2 power of 2, right? and so on. Right? Okay, we can have 2 uh, by the power of N, right? 
n is number of variables okay uh, p and q and r uh, we ha we have a uh, three variable here okay we can see 2 to the power of 3 is 8 2 to the power of 4 is 16 2 to the power of 5 is 32 lah. okay uh, you can see here uh, p q 1 1 p and q and r lah. okay Okay, this one is uh, another uh, table, eh? P and Q and R, okay, uh, you can see here is uh, how many variables, eh? okay, same goes to this table, okay, uh, this one is uh, P and Q and R and S, eh? is the, we have uh, 16 eh? 16 okay for the first one 2 to the power of uh, 0 is 1 2 power of 1 is 2 2 power of 2 is 4 2 power of 3 is 8 eh? how to generate the truth table you can see here okay this one is uh, 2 power of 0 p 1 2 power of 1 and so on eh? we have uh, we calculate eh? Calculate uh, here is uh, how many uh, variables, eh? variables uh, two power of n. Eh? Okay, here is two power of two is equal to eight, eh? and so on. Okay, uh, this one is uh, another example uh, in English. Eh? Maria learned discrete structure is hypothesis. Maria will find a good job is the conclusion. Eh? You must uh, differentiate the hypothesis and conclusion. Express the statement uh, P implies uh, Q, eh? the hypothesis and the conclusion. If Maria learns discrete uh, structure, then she will find a good job. Okay, uh, Maria will find a good job if she learns discrete structure. This one is the conclusion. If she, okay, uh, as I uh, explained before, if she is the hypothesis. Eh? Okay, and then uh, Maria learn discrete uh, structure only if uh, she will find a good job. Eh? This one is uh, hypothesis, hypothesis and conclusion. Okay, and then uh, for this one, we continue for the part uh, 4. Eh? Thank you.